Today we're going to start learning how to solve the Rubik's Cube, starting with the white cross. So we start from the white side. We know it's the white side because the spot in the center is white. That's the green side, yellow, blue, orange, and red side. So we would just want to focus on the white side. And in talking about the white cross, we're looking to get a T shape here across. So we want days each of these four to make the cross on the white side to be white. But here's the twist. Okay, they have to be in the right place. So for example, here's a white piece, right? And I could say to myself, okay, well, if I just turn this up, and we solve the white cross pretty much mechanically, is how I put it. If I put this up, okay, hey, I have a piece of the white cross. But notice it's in the wrong place because it's blue over here but it's on the red side. So I can do that. I can turn this up to the white side, but then I just need to take it over to the blue side. So I've done one of the four pieces so far of the white cross. Now I just want to look for the other ones. Okay, well, here's the one that's white with red. So I'm going to start because now I know what I'm doing. I'm going to rotate it over to the red side, right? And now I want to turn it up so that white is on the white side, red is aligned with red. Okay, now I have two more to do, right? So I need the orange and white piece here and the green and white piece. Oh, look, the green and white piece is already aligned with the green side. So, oh, wait. So this is something that's going to happen all the time. So it's in the right place, but it's kind of flipped. And there are various ways of doing this, but here's what I do. I turn it to its side, rotate that center, around, turn it back up, and when I bring it back to green, so I now have green with green, and the red and red and blue and blue that I already had. Okay, so now I just have the orange piece to solve for the white cross. So it's over on the side here, okay? So this one's a little different. So I, I wanna just, again, mechanically is all I'm doing here. There's no fancy tricks here. I'm just gonna, hey, okay, I'm gonna turn it down, here, opposite the white side, bring it around to the orange side where it belongs. Now, before I do anything else, hey, I moved my red and white piece out of place, so I want to put it back. Okay, I had already solved that one. And now I'm going to bring that up there. Now, this piece happens to be white, but we're going to ignore that. Uh, you know, just like forget about that for me. I'll get rid of it, in fact. So you can just see here. This is the white cross. This is what we're going for. Notice I have red with red, blue with blue, orange with orange, green with green. And I have the white cross. Okay, so let's scramble. All right, and try that again. And this is what I want you to do. Just And this is how I learned a nine-year-old boy taught me. And so this is what you do. You say, okay, I scrambled it, and now I'm going to try to solve the white cross again. Okay, here's my blue piece. So I'll bring it over to the blue side. Uh, and now you're going to start getting slick. I'll turn it up so you can see. But you notice already that it was flipped. So I'll turn it again to the side, rotate that center back. And when I bring it back up, I can put it over to the blue. And this is just mechanical solving. Okay, ah, look. This red, here's my white piece that I'm looking for, and it's the red and white. So it's already on the red side. So all I have to do is turn that bad boy up. And, he's already in the right place. Notice I did not disturb my blue. Here's my orange and white piece for the white cross. Now I see, like I had to before, I'm going to turn him down, bring him over to the orange side, not forgetting that I want to restore that red side before I really do anything more. And then I can bring this up. So I have three of the white cross pieces, and I'm going to go for the fourth, all right? This one's already flipped the right way, so I just bring it around to the green side, and when I turn it up, I find I have the white cross. And again, notice I have a piece here that's white, but it's in the wrong place, so just ignore that. Again, I'll take it out of the way so you can see, like, hey, that piece doesn't matter. Um, all I'm going for here is this white cross, so on the white side, which is indicated by the center white spot. I want to have this white shaped T, noting that I have red with red, blue with blue, orange with orange, and green with green. 
That's the white cross. Step one, you're almost a pro. Keep going. Practice that until you're quick at it. Oh, 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 o